Welcome to the new Shipyard 101 series. In it, we will cover how to get started with Shipyard and learn the basic features. This tutorial will review creating your account, linking your GitHub, and deploying your first app. We'll start with the Shipyard website. We can hit the button to begin creating your Shipyard account. This brings us to a prompt to log in using your GitHub. Click the Sign Up with GitHub button to review the authorization of the Shipyard app. This creates our account and opens up the Shipyard dashboard. The welcome page helps us with the following two steps in setting up your account. First, you will connect your organization and then create your first app. So let's start on step one, which will install the Shipyard app. Now, this account is a personal one, not associated with an organization. If you are testing Shipyard, you can trial it on an account like this to review all the features. In this case, I will approve it to access all my repos, but we could also select specific ones. Hit the Install button to finish this step. Now we are ready to launch our first application. If you have one prepared, then you can use that. But for this demo, we will head back to the Shipyard website and try one of our example apps. Under Resources, there is Starter Apps. Clicking this will bring you to a list of all the demo apps you could use to try Shipyard for the first time. We have a variety of languages to choose from, so you can pick the one you're familiar with. I will use a React Flask app. This is a template repo, so where the fork button usually is, we have a Use This Template button instead. But it works exactly the same. So we will click the Use This Template button, which prompts us to copy this repo. We choose a repo name, add a description, and decide if we want it public or private, and then hit Create Repository from Template. OK, we now have our repo ready. Returning to the Shipyard dashboard, we will complete step two and launch our app. Click the Add Application button. Shipyard automatically refreshes for you, so our brand new repo, Shipyard Test App, is already in the drop-down list. Below here is an option to choose a branch. This is particularly important if you want to test a specific feature. For now, we will leave this on Main and hit the Select Services button at the bottom right. Here, we can customize our app, like the software's front-end, back-end, data, and worker services. We will now leave these as is and move on to the last step by clicking the green button at the bottom right. Here is where we can add build or runtime variables. Finish the process by hitting Create Application. Now, Shipyard is building our containers and environment on their system. This generally takes a few minutes, especially when starting a dry dock or environment for the first time. So let's skip ahead. Two very boring minutes later. OK, we are back and our app is ready to be tested. Notice here that the environment will automatically stop in three hours if it hasn't had any visitors. So you never have to worry about paying expensive premiums for forgetting to take down testing environments. Here, we have a green Visit button. This opens a new tab where you must confirm who you are through SSO. I will authenticate through GitHub, and that's it. You now have access to your app through Shipyard. In this video, we learned how to set up and authenticate your Shipyard account, where you can find resources such as the starter apps, and launch your first app all in under five minutes. The next video will show you how Shipyard automatically detects PRs, spinning up the latest changes and features that you're developing.